Morning guys! So I've just dropped Dollface to school and it's six minutes past nine. Um, as you might have been able to guess, I'm not going for my run this morning. I still feel crappy. It's not just down to the coil, by the way. There's other stuff going on, numerous stuffs going on, which are bringing my mood down quite low. It's low. It's, this is the lowest I've felt for quite a few weeks now. I've been on a good streak. I've been on a good high. I thought things were on the up, but it's nothing that I can't deal with, nothing that I haven't dealt with before. Um, and I've just got to continue being strong and you guys primarily is where I'm getting a lot of my strength from. Obviously that and my friends too. Um, so yeah, keep it coming thick and fast. You guys have been absolutely brilliant, so supportive. Um, so I'm just on my way into town now, hot foot into town while I've got a couple of hours and I'm gonna go dress hunting really really quickly there's a shop they want to go to blue banana you might have heard of it it's like an alternative type of shop um you can get ear piercings and tattoos and stuff there whatever it's kind of like your grunge version of claire's accessories is how i would like to describe it but they sell clothes and they sell um dresses which are quite quirky and it's not necessarily the quirkiness I want of the dress it's the shape of the dress like I want sort of like a 1950s style sweetheart neckline because I feel like that it suited my body shape when I was flat chested and I think it would suit my body shape even more now that I have bosoms so we'll just go in and see however the dresses can be quite pricey I'm not sure if I'm down that I'm not sure if I've got the funds for that at the moment but whatever I don't know until I go in and have a little look there is an option of me buying online but like it's the type of website where if I bought a size 8 and a size 10 and I wanted to return one of them you have to pay for the postage and again I'm just not I can't do that that's the beauty of like boohoo in a way like I bought the um, 9.99 deal where you could order as many times for next day delivery as you want in a year and free returns and stuff like that I hate paying for return packages it's one of my bugbears but I can understand why companies do it otherwise they'll just like lose out on loads of money and they'd have to put the price of their product up then to cover it so it's as well as long I suppose but yeah basically that's what I'm up to now so I have had to take some more ibuprofen this morning because I was a bit crampy again this morning but oh lots of traffic like I said life keeps putting me through the ringer but you just gotta get back up dust yourself down Put on a smile, even if it's a fake one. And then get the fuck on with shit. <laughs> yes, she says. Easier said than done though, isn't it? It really, really is. All my ladies, listen up. Snake your lips and swing your hips and all you've gotta say is my name. No. No. No, you need to let it go, you need to let it go, you need to let it go Down to the on to the no, no, no I was in the zone before you came along Blah, blah, blah Down to the on to the no, no, no All my ladies listen up Down to the on to the no, no, no My name is no, my time is no, my memory is no You need to let it go, you need to let it go, you need to let it go Untouchable, 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 untouchable
Well, howdy ha, howdy ho. I'm in a better mood now because I managed to find a dress for the wedding. Woohoo! But I did stress buy a petticoat to go underneath it, which literally doubled my price. So if you go and check out my Instagram story, it should still be up there by the time you watch this video, fingers crossed. Um, I'll try and upload the video a little bit earlier this evening for you to all to get hold of it. Um, I tried on some Lindy Bop dresses in Debenhams. I forgot that Lindy Bop was stocked in Debenhams and to be quite frankly honest, I have looked online and I didn't really like what I saw, but I went into the shop, whether they've got different dresses or not, I do not know, but I tried on maybe like six dresses. They all, I picked them all up in a size eight and they all fit like a dream. Like they literally just went zip and it was like, cup in the right places, it was hugging the right places, flaring out at the right places, the seams were straight, the material was good quality. So the, I did end up buying a dress out of the ones that I showed on my Instagram story. Um, and it was £35, which I thought was, you know, was really good because I've been looking at some dresses which have been a lot cheaper than that. And obviously they look more like going out dresses rather than suitable for a wedding. And then dresses that are, you could know, you could buy a dress for like £100. You could go to Coast, you could go to Phase 8, you could go to Jack's Fit, anything like that. And you're looking at about £18, £90, £100. I didn't want to spend £18, £90, £100 because then you need to think about accessories. You need to think about drinks while you're at the wedding. You need to think about you know i paid for accommodation for the wedding as well and stuff like that and it, I, I just don't want the whole procedure to become like a 500 pound night day whatever do you know what i mean i don't want that to happen so the dress that i bought i then went and bought a, i stress bought a petticoat to go with it however the petticoat is a perfect color to go with it um i haven't got the petticoat with me because they need to order it in specifically in my size um, and then they're gonna give me a call back. But in the meantime, while that is happening, I am going to have a look around for petticoats, but that particular petticoat was good quality. So the reason being for the petticoat is, it just gives me that little bit more volume to the skirt. It flares it out like I said I wanted to. In my mind, I wanted to wear this 1950s style dress. Lindy Bop specializes in 1950s style dress, and then the petticoat makes it look even better and it's got the neckline that I wanted. I'm showing some boob, but not too much. It's like a, you can have a little sneak peek at the top of my cleavage. I like that. I think that's quite sexy and very elegant. Um, and it's got like a halter neck strap. I'm obviously gonna show you at some point. I'm just really excited to tell you about it now. And then it's got like a halter neck strap, which you know that I like, because then it leaves my shoulders completely on show and what do I love most about my body? My shoulders. I think my shoulders are fantastic. I think they're really great. If there's, if you're allowed to love one part of your body and boast about it, then mine would be my shoulders. I really, really do like them. Um, but yeah, how awesome. So that was, I was really, really, I went straight to Blue Banana and they were closed they didn't open until 10 o'clock it was half past nine i was like right i'll kick some kick some time kill some time is what i meant to say um and i went next door there's a shop like literally two doors up that sells very similar sorts of dresses if not the same brands as blue banana and i looked in there and they were all like 50 pounds plus beautiful dresses and i mean like you are paying for like that vintage look but you are getting the quality with that. I cannot stress enough. Like the quality of the fabric is absolutely stunning. Like it will last and last and wash and wash. It is gonna be brilliant. Um, but 50 pounds is a little bit, I was a bit like, ooh, ooh, that's gonna hurt. Especially if I wanted to put a petticoat underneath one of those. That, you know, you, you're talking a lot of money. Um, so I then went to Debenhams and I was walking in, walk past Benefit Brow Bar and all the girls were like staring at their eyebrows in the mirrors and stuff and I'm like, oof. And then I looked in Warehouse and everything and then I came across like the Lindy Bop rail. It wasn't, it was like there were two Lindy Bop rails and I was like, oh my God, I forgot about Lindy Bop being in Debenhams. 
and the first dress that I saw I was like I'm not sure I'm not sure I'm really not sure but I picked it up in a size 8 and I picked up another one that had like the beautiful sweetheart neckline that I loved and I was like mm, mm, I don't know and then I walked around and I walked around like collection um, Julian McDonald and Oasis and all of the other ones, Monsoon, Basics, uh, Coast, all of them. And I was like, beautiful dresses, but we're talking about £100 and I'm not, I'm not paying £100. I'm, I'm, end of story, flat out, no. Um, so I went back to the Lindy Bop rail with the two Lindy Bop dresses that I already had in my hand and I was like, right, Bucket, and I basically picked up one of every Lindy Bop dress that was on the rail. I only ended up trying on six of them, um, and they all fitted. I could have easily picked any one of them and been happy, but the one that I did choose had like some of them had a higher neckline, so there wasn't any boob on show at all. So it would have been more of like, um, I don't know. I don't know. Like you could, I would wear them to a wedding, but don't forget, I'm still at the stage where my breasticles are still quite new and exciting to me. So I do want to like be able to show them off a little bit without being like, hey, look at the boobs. <laughs> if you understand my drift, I hope I hope I, I'm putting that across in the right way. Um, maybe I don't know. But yeah, so I tried them on first dress that the, the dress that I picked up initially first was the dress I ended up buying so yeah and then went and stress bought a petticoat like I've said a million times because I'm super excited but now we're done I believe at home I've got some shoes and a bag which are suitable to go with that particular outfit so it's a case of going home trying it on and then waiting for the petticoat to arrive and then see the petticoat was the same price as the dress which frustrates me frustrates me a lot but i might have a little look around but i just feel like that particular petticoat was it was really you could feel the good quality on it and i'm like oh and it's like a brand that specializes in petticoats it's not like Do you know what I mean? They just do petticoats. So. Hmm. I'm so excited to show you. And then all I need to sort then is what makeup I'm wearing. Easy, because I've got shit ton of makeup. And then I'll need to sort something for my hair, whether that be a fascinator or a beautiful, like, diamante or pearl headbands or headpiece or hair clip or something like that i don't know i i'm more now i've got in my mind like i had in my mind i wanted to wear a fascinator but now in my mind i feel like an alice band with like some pearls and or and or diamantes on it just sitting in my hair because i probably wear my hair like this because I don't style my hair, I don't have any curling tongs, I don't have any hair straighteners and then when you do style my hair you spray such a shit ton of hairspray in it that it makes my hair look dark brown and I'm not down with that, that I have, that's not the look I want to go for. Um, I think just the Alice band of like pearls and diamantes sitting in my head like poking through and then holding this side of my hair back and then this side of my hair will be down because I can't see out this freaking eye anyway so it doesn't matter if my hair goes in front of it. Um, I think that would be quite understated, elegant, classic looking as well considering my, my dress is going to be like the feature piece because it's a bit of a quirky dress. It's like the, the shape of it and stuff you know is very retro and then the print on the dress is a bit like whoa <laughs> so it's not like ridiculously whoa it's a bit like oh it's different this is nice for me anyway all of y'all might be like Eek. 
but yeah, if you can pop onto my Instagram story and have a look at the dresses I've tried on, you will see the type of style and feel and theme that I was wanting to achieve and have achieved. Yes. So now I'm just popping back home. Hopefully, have enough time. Well, it's 11 o'clock now. I might not have enough time to get a cup of tea down the neck before I have to go and pick doll face up. I might make a cup of tea and walk up there with my cup of tea. Top mum. <laughs>
So I'm going to do this next entry kind of like a mukbang style because I am starving. Um, I just got home from my friend's art um, show. So that was really awesome. I've not really been to any art shows or art exhibitions ever. Um, and she's doing a degree in fine art. So I went along to support her and it was awesome. And obviously I got to see like other people's work as well. So um, outfit of the evening. Sorry I didn't get re do a get ready with me like I would normally. But um, got in really late from playgroup with Holly, which is something that we've just started on Friday afternoon. And I had to like get ready within like 15 minutes. <laughs> so I'm just wearing my black halter neck dress from Boohoo that I bought a while ago. Um, yeah. Um, I, it was I had to get it out of like my winter suitcase because it's black and I don't really like wearing black in the summer but like I didn't really have anything suitable anything else suitable to wear really and I fought for an art show so I decided to go for like the classic black dress and um, I've gone for an all over a uh, one and done glittery eye all the way up to the brow bone and a red lip not that you can see because the lighting is quite poor so I was driving halfway there and I was like I got halfway to where I needed to be and I was like I forgot to pack my lipstick with me so I turned around and came all the way back and I was like for god's sake it's so annoying I could see like my petrol gauge going oh, and I'm like no my petrol but never mind never bloody mind hey so I didn't have any dinner before I went out the last time I ate was about midday and I'm hungry so I have got a bowl of porridge <laughs> and um half a banana chopped up which is what I've been having quite a lot recently because I've literally needed stodge food that's kind of like healthy or whatever um, that's quick and easy to make because I've been feeling a bit crappy and sorry for myself recently but maybe I'll have to put an end to that so when I go to bed tonight when I wake up in the morning I can be like it's Saturday and I gotta go to work at stupid o'clock in the morning so yeah, you can tell I'm hyper because I think this is like sometimes your blood sugars get low and then like I was rushing home and like things like that. Once I get past a certain stage, I get like really hyperactive. So obviously I have my cup of tea here, which I've left the tea bag in just to let it brew for a little bit. So I wouldn't put too much milk in, but that's the way I like to do things around here. So I'm going to do this mukbang style. Mmm, yum. Would you like me to do a mukbang, like a proper, just a video that's a mukbang? Um, it's something that's relatively new to me. I, when I heard like um, the moon and the stars, my friend here on YouTube talk about them, I was like, what the fuck word is she saying? What did she, I had to like, I was like, what is she even saying? And I had to like literally type it in, like exactly how she was saying it. And there's a whole load of videos called mukbangs and basically, it is people eating food. Now, they're supposed to be like a full on, full on. So, like, say you would go to McDonald's and you'd order a Big Mac meal and a quarter pound of cheeseburger and a large drink and then extra fries and chicken nuggets on the side and a McFlurry and a milkshake and you'd eat all of that in one go. You're supposed to be really highly calorific or whatever. Um, I'm not going to be doing that. If I did do that, then feel free to jump through the YouTube and give me a good old slap in the face going, no, Al, you're on a fucking diet. So, yeah, I've got, got my porridge. 50 grams off, so that's five points on Weight Watchers. Plus the milk. I always point for a pint of milk every day, which is seven points. Skimmed milk. And banana, which is zero points. So, yeah. So, so the art show, and that was really, really good. And this guy approached me, didn't know who he was, just thought he was being friendly. And I was like, yada, 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 yada. He's like, can I paint you? You have really defined arms. And I'm like, do I? And he's like, but like, look at your shoulders. And I was like, oh, I do love my shoulders. And he's like, <laughs> but anyway, so it turns out that he's actually quite a pro, a big painter in Swansea. And he would like to paint me. So that's kind of cool. So the night's been a success for everybody. It's been, I've really enjoyed seeing my friend perform because she did like a little art performance while she was there as well, which was awesome. And then her work. And then, um, like all of the other people's work, I really enjoyed myself. It's, I've pushed myself to do 
and pushed myself. I've gone and done something what I wouldn't normally do. What would I normally be doing on a Friday night? Um, and if I did go out on a Friday night, I maybe wouldn't choose to go to an art show or an art exhibition. So that was really cool. And it was um, free drinks and food. Not that I was drinking or eating. I just had water, but nevertheless, it was still free. So, mm. Then we went to the pub afterwards and had a drink and I had Diet Coke. And then after that, I was like, no, I need to go home and eat some porridge right now. And then I um, was driving home and it was raining. And I was like, oh, I've left my stuff on the line. And I just needed to like, I came running in, got, went for a wee, <laughs> as you do, put my trains back on and then ran back outside, took all my washing off the line. So I've got all that to deal with in the morning. I'm just going to ch chuck it straight back in the washing machine. But like not wash it again, I'm just going to spin it off so it takes away any of the damp. And then I'll probably chuck it back out tomorrow morning if it's dry. So we shall see. I am hungry. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I might edit some of this out so you don't actually literally have to watch me eating and go. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Because that's kind of like not what I wanted this entry to be about when it's been mukbang style not an actual mukbang so yeah oh that's better Eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. 19 20 21 22 i need eight more points for the day easy i have a hot chocolate that's three big hot chocolate and i have double the portion um Four, five, six, seven, eight. And I could have some pineapple and yogurt, but I don't really feel like it. Shock. Bloody horror, I know. Could potentially just have some more porridge, really. Might do that. Depends. After this, now I need to go and take my makeup off. And then go and take all the stuff off my bed <laughs> that I chucked on there earlier. I was like, ah, quick, get ready. Chuck, 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 chuck. I haven't shown you my dress for the wedding. After what, I'll wait for the petticoat to come now and then I'll show you. It'll be good for me to try it on again in another couple of days because then that's how I really know if I like a dress. If like I don't look for it, look at it for a couple of days and then try it on again. And if I still like it, that's when I know that I want to keep it. Ooh, ooh, I just had a thought. I might do, I want to do a mukbang anyway. But then I, I would like to do a live video one day. That would be cool. But what sort of time would I do a live video, guys? You'd have to let me know. Ooh, do you like my heart-shaped bowls, by the way? I've got heart-shaped plates as well. But you know what isn't heart shaped? My actual heart. <laughs> Lol. Noms. It's all gone. Tea time. feel so much better. Like I had a Diet Coke in the pub and I could just feel it going inside my stomach. I don't really like pop anymore. I'm not going to lie to you. I do not enjoy drinking it. It makes me belch. And that's not very ladylike. It's actually, like, you know when you have a Diet Coke, it actually leads me to have a sweet craving. So it kind of, like, makes my whole situation worse. It's so like, yeah, I'm having Diet Pop and that's zero points. Or zero pop and that's zero points as well. <laughs> but... 
See, that's just burps. No, I'm not cool with that. That's disgusting. It makes me want to crave sweet things after, usually afterwards. So it doesn't really, it completely counteracts or counterbalances what I wanted to achieve. But it is good as a mixer if I'm drinking, which is very rare. So yeah, that's cool. I don't think I've got anything else to say to you. Do you know what song I've had in, stuck in my head all day again? Blink-182. Fell in love with the girl at the rock show, but I've been changing it. Fell in love with the girl at the art show. She said what at a soul that I didn't know. She's so cool, gonna sneak it through a window. Everything's better when she's around. Can't wait till her parents go out of town. Fell in love with the girl at the art show. <laughs> what a saddo. Friday night banter and I'm here at, what is it, 20 minutes past 10, chatting shit to my phone. Well, anyone would think that I had been drinking. I haven't. This is me sober. Tis. Tis indeed. Everything's better when she's around. Can't wait till the parents go out of town. Fell in love with the girl at the art show. Lol. So yeah, I hope that guy gets in contact with me soon so we can get that painting done. That'd be cool, man. Defined. Do I work out? No, I but that's that's natural that is none of that is from working out at all that's all the last time i probably worked these out i don't know that is all natural muscle i have not made them like that they're just naturally like that's that's insane that's why i like my shoulders i don't know if they're quite manly though fuck it who gives a shite? Not me! Oh, no, oh no, I couldn't find any. Couldn't find any fucks up there. Oh, no fucking fucks down there either. I wonder if there's any fucks at the bottom of this tea. And on that note, my fellow friends, I bid you all a good night. Bye-bye.